This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your anchor, Jason Walter, with ITTO News. The North Dakota Game and Fish Department's annual fall wetland survey indicates variable wetland conditions for duck hunting throughout the state. The number of duck hunting wetlands holding water is nearly identical to last year's estimate, but still 29% below the 2003-2022 long-term average. For nine years running, Garmin earns top NEMA honors and adds five Product of Excellence awards to its winning streak, being named Manufacturer of the Year at the National Marine Electronics Association Annual Conference and Awards Banquet in Orlando, Florida. Oh, say it isn't so. The Top 50 Pike Series Classic year-end two-day finale event in Ontario found not one but two teams suspected of cheating after the first day weigh-in. Both teams were suspected of cutting the tails to ensure they didn't go over the 61 centimeter or 24 inch limit and maximize their score. Without definitive proof and teams denying allegations, the teams were allowed to compete on the second day of the event. They say polygraphs will be conducted. You better do a full episode on that one. Yeah. Oh, and here's a whopper. The Bass Fishing Hall of Fame auction was held last week, and a fishing trip with Nebraska's Ben Milliken went for $15,500. That's your ITTO News Update. Enjoy the weekend. I'm Chasen Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. Find more at ChasenWalter.com and on YouTube. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy In Through the Outdoors. If you get a chance, check out my website at chasenwalter.com. There's over 650 episodes, and we just started Season 6. While you're there, shop and save on Kuyu, Wiley X, and more. Shop Outlet Recreation and listen to the Midwest Angler Podcast. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X. In Through the Outdoors can be heard on 11 great radio stations, Apple and Google Podcast, and Spotify. 